So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Broken arm! Broken arm! Broken arm! Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! She spit in my face! Today's video takes us to Utica, Michigan, where we find the frauditor Spanky Pants and his sidekick, Michigan Constitutional Crusader, as they harass a man in a gas station parking lot for apparently no reason other than their own amusement. Well, the police are called, and Spanky Pants takes exception to the way he was treated. And of course, he's going to file a complaint. But he gets the wrong cop on the right day and is arrested. Enjoy. Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. I don't know what led up to this confrontation because so many times frauditors don't turn on the camera until it's advantageous to them. But what I can gather here is that this man at the gas station took exception to being filmed and old Spanky Pants is going to push the envelope and film his company vehicle which I don't know what that proves except that he has the right to do it in his mind he's God I don't know what he's thinking but let's continue Go ahead, call the cops. They're gonna laugh you, right out of you want us to wait here hey why don't you just back in right here next to us then oh okay I'll, I'll do that that's cool <laughs> well, now he's taking a picture of my license plate. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I just got attacked by a camera. I just got attacked by a camera. I don't condone this behavior at all, but it would be more acceptable coming from young men about 16 or 17 years old, not from grown men who have families at home. Nobody's threatening you, you listen, Did you listen to that? What is that? <laughs> because you're lying piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you listen to what he said? Did you hear that? Did you hear what he said to me? He's I'm kind of I'm kind of tempted to stay. Are you, just so I can see the lot of cops laugh at him. Are you gonna do something about that? Just clip him off. Oh yes indeed, here we see the imbecile giving the one finger salute, so mature, and that really hurts that man, oh you've hurt him terribly by giving them that salute. <laughs> he got so twisted. He did, he's so butthurt. <laughs> we weren't even taking this picture. I know. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Absolutely. It's called the First Amendment, man. These two clowns are far from finished with the man. They drive down the street, take a U turn, and head back. A concerned citizen asks him what they're doing. They say, oh, exercising our First Amendment rights. 
Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> then why are you asking if it's worth our time if you don't know what's going on? Right, right. Like an idiot. Crying on his phone. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. He didn't like us camera cameraing him. Yeah, he didn't like being cameraed. He got attacked by two cameras. Oh, now he's going to pull into a parking spot. Maybe. These two piles of trash continue to berate the man for several more minutes until the police arrive. So let's skip to that part. A few minutes later. <laughs> Hello. Hi. What's going on? We didn't call you. I don't answer questions. He did. Okay, we'll go talk to him. No, I'm going to be talking. No, you're not going to talk to me. Yeah, you yeah, ain't gonna yeah. Talk, you ain't going to talk to me at all. I ain't say to you. Not nothing. So go talk to the guy that called you. Isn't that, isn't that procedure? When a no. complaining party calls, you go talk to the complaining no, party? No, you don't get sure it is. Like sure that. it is. With the frauditor's cocky attitude, you know that this is not going to end well. But please, frauditor, carry on. Sure it is. Go talk to him. He'll tell you what's going on. And then you can be like, oh, nothing illegal is going on. I can go back to doing my real job. Close your hood. No. Touch our vehicle. You are. You don't are. Touch our vehicle. Listen, don't touch listen our vehicle. To you didn't pull us over. Yes, I no, did. No, you did not. We was parked here, idiot. Parked, we okay. were parked here. Okay. You didn't pull us over. Don't try. Okay. The hell's wrong with you? Go talk to the guy who called you. Right. I got a camera on you too. That's good. You can't see it. It's right there. You can't Is that what you tell the judge, smartass? Why, are you a judge, smartass? You're the smartass, not the officer. Why don't you just cooperate? Why do you have such a hatred of police officers? Perhaps you would like to talk to Jerry Springer about that. Yeah, I don't have to answer your questions. Is that, yeah, you do. You're a public no, servant. No, I don't. You're a public servant. I don't. You work for the public. You're paid by tax dollars. Okay. Your policy and code of conduct for your agency requires you identify by name and badge number to oh a member of the goodness. public when they ask. Really? Yeah. My God, are you? Yeah, brilliant. he is an arrogant little pigo. Yeah. Picatistical. Okay. He's pigner, though. That's for sure. He says he pulled us over. Really? No, we was parked there. Hey, look. Do you not see my lights? I don't oh, about your lights. No. I don't give a about your lights. Over, you, you can't pull us over when we're parked because we didn't commit a traffic violation, oh, idiot. idiot. You're a dummy. Look, Spanky Pants, you don't have to be pulled over for a traffic infraction to be questioned by the police. You can be questioned at any time for suspicious activity, and that's what's going on right now. You're only making matters worse, Spanky Pants. <laughs> Hell, I was behind my car when Right, right. 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 Yeah. You're an idiot. Yeah. Yo, what'd you, what'd you pull us over for then? Oh, I'm not answering. Oh, okay. You don't have a reason? You don't You don't have a... Well, when you pull somebody over, you have to tell them what you pulled them over for. So if you don't have... Artic if you don't have articulable suspicion... We got a complaint that there's a threat. I don't care. So, yeah, I don't care I do what have, he said. And I'm going to be People don't lie. You. People... No, I you won't. Be, oh, oh yes, no, you oh, will yes, not. I you will. ain't getting my ID. Oh, yes. You ain't getting my ID. No. I promise you. Hey, I want to complain that that guy called a bunch of armed gunmen out here for no reason. Yeah, for no reason. Oh, he called him and said we was making armed threats. Even though we got it all on video, nobody ever threatened anybody. Most certainly, Frauditor. You don't threaten anybody. You're only there to provoke and harass people. You need to get clicks and views for your pitiful YouTube channel. I understand. Yes or no? Do you? It's none of your business. I don't answer your questions either. You must think I'm stupid. You are stupid. You don't answer your questions you're doing either. A very good, you're doing a good enough job proving that right now. Yeah, he doesn't prove how stupid he Boy, is. you guys are brilliant. Obviously oh, smarter than you are. Please tell me you are not a detective. Oh, he is. He's a detective. No, tell me. 
He inspects. He detects. He said he's going to identify me. I bet he don't. I don't know why frauditors think they have a crystal ball and can foresee the future because it never works out. And it's not going to work out for you, Spanky Pants. I'd like to know what crime you're going to identify us with. I know, right? Any of them. Yep. What crime? Hey. Wrong. Hey, keep your hands to yourself. Keep your hands to yourself. No, you don't. You don't get to put your hands on people. What the hell's wrong with you, dude? That bad's done went to your damn little head, didn't it? You take a walk. I'll stand where I want to stand. I'll stand. It ain't your car. He says get away from my car. He said get away from my car. Don't the taxpayers fund for the, Don't no. the taxpayers pay for that no, car? That one's mine. That's your personal. Yep. But it's yep. being used. It's being yep. used in public yeah. service, yeah. so it's a public vehicle. Here, here's the bin number. We'll find out. Yeah. Spanky Pants is small in stature, but he's big in toughness. Oh, he's a real tough guy. He'll knock you out, boy. You better not mess around with Spanky Pants. What kind of name is that for a grown man, anyway? Yeah, Sarge, you need to put this little in check. Put this little in check. Hey, you ever hear, you ever hear of... Spit it out, it ain't yours. Spit it out, it ain't yours. It's called freedom of speech. Now what? Yeah, you're right, it is, but you don't have those freedoms when you're on duty, idiot. You have duties, not rights, dummy. You're going to get some time off for that one. Yeah, you are. You're definitely getting some time off for that one partner oh yeah, oh, yeah. what's the complaints come in what's the phone calls roll in uh -uh, don't touch it you don't get to get our property hey get your hands off of your car don't touch our car don't touch the car oh my goodness there's a lot of foul language in this video i'll tell you what everybody can do is go on over to freaking media's youtube page and look at this video. If it's not age restricted, file a complaint for foul language because once it's age restricted, it will no longer earn money on YouTube. So don't worry about giving them clicks and views. Just report it for foul language so he won't be monetized. Oh, that ought to make him happy. Yeah, I'm coming for your job. I am. For I'm coming for your job. I'm coming for your job. I got freedom of speech too. I got freedom of speech. Ten feet. Ten feet. Ten feet. Then you better hope my phone ain't broken. Ten thousand dollar phone. Ten feet. Ten feet. Ten feet. Ten feet away from me. Thousand dollar phone. Bring it. I'm afraid of you. You're a little shit. You're put out that badge and gun, punk. Without that badge, badge and gun, you need to get without you need to it. You little, you're dismissed. I'm here. I'm little, freedom of speech. Little, little Willy Wonka here. Munchkin. Oh, there was a lot of profanity on both sides, but mostly by the frauditor. Reminds me of a caveman. Oh, but I shouldn't insult the caveman. Oh my goodness, I do wonder if he kisses his children with that foul mouth. Uneducated moron that he is. Here you go. Oh, now it's an unlawful detainment, you idiot. I'm just letting you know you need to back off. Crazy. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Guys, you tell him here. to back off. I am. Give me a second here. Good. Tell him to back situation. off. Now he's blocking the vehicle. That's unlawful detainment. Let him talk to him. Move. Can you guys move? No, I don't have to move. Please? Put the dog back on a leash. Yeah, put him on a leash. Oh, now you're trying to assault me with a car? You yeah. Shit? Wow, y'all are a bunch of tyrants here, guys. I can see the complaints filing now. Y'all finna get about three, four thousand phone calls or more. Believe that. Yeah, I don't know. We need everybody's name and badge number, guys. You didn't? Did you? I don't recall. Okay, what's this guy's name and badge number? Oh yes, indeed. Spanky Pants is taking down names for his complaints and maybe a lawsuit. But the best part is still to come. What's your name and badge number? Step out of the street, please, sir. Don't tell me what to do. Lawsuit. 
Complaints. <laughs> wow. Bye. <laughs> Talk about some tyrants. We got us a good one. Holy cow, these guys might be worse than uh, River Root. Oh, my. Oh, definitely. definitely. Dude, he bent my trunk lid. They just were so addicted to knowing. Without holding it up. Yeah. And he was pulling it down. Yeah. They are so addicted. They're so addicted. The but hey. You think he is? But like I told him, you ain't getting my idea. Oh, but the police did identify you, didn't they, Spanky Pants? Because later on, you went to the police station to file complaints, and then you were accused of loitering and being disorderly, and you were arrested. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'll post a video of that as well. Nobody got no fucking ID. They fucking stole my fucking Yeah, they did. That shit was hilarious. Go to that police department right it's Shelby, there. isn't it? No. That wasn't Shelby. What was it? Uh, Bro, I got I to go back and look at the video, guys, and see what police department it is. I'm cold. This brainiac has an interaction with police for over 15 minutes and doesn't even have the wherewithal to look on the sleeve and see what police department he's harassing. Oh, this next section is from the police department in Utica, Michigan. Oh, it's lovely indeed. <laughs> The frauditors are trying to exert some kind of magical power over the police and make them speak their names and badge numbers instead of just reading them and writing them down or better yet they have a camera they have all the information but they're trying to exercise some kind of power over the police and this sergeant's having none of it. Pardon me, Sergeant. These may appear to be grown men, but they're really eight-year-old brats. They never grew up properly. Mommy and Daddy didn't show them enough attention when they were children, and this is what we're stuck with now. These two morons are not very good friends. Their good buddy is under arrest, and all they're worried about is his potato cam. Oh, friends like that you do not need in your life. If he says we can have it, can we get it?
Well, there you have it, folks. Of course, none of this had to happen if the idiots had just left the gas station and gone on their merry way. But no, they wanted to stay there and make fun of the poor man who has a real job trying to earn money for his family. And then they pushed the envelope a bit too far when they went to file the complaints at the police station. You can always email this moron. Now, please don't use any death threats. Don't use foul language. Don't fall to his level. But just let him know that he is a moron and should get a real job. Because not that many people are watching his channel. Nah, you're not making any money, Spanky Pants. I can tell you that for sure. If you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, Please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that.